It's the one and only Pop DBICD primetime capper, and it's time for a Fanatics View exclusive with none other than L. S. Techia himself, Mr. Mario Barrios. And you know what? Me and Mario go way back to when he was on his uh, first uh, co-main event with Tank Davis back in L.A. Uh, finished off the dude in four rounds. A beautiful night of boxing. One of the best looking 140 guys I had ever seen. And boy, oh boy, it's always a pleasure to interview this guy. And I'm always uh, appreciate uh, you giving me your time as well, too. How's life going, Mario? Man, what's up, brother? Like, you know, the, that feeling is mutual for sure. But um, life, life's been good, man. You know, I have another great opportunity in front of me. Uh, we're, you know, we're excited and, uh, you know, and the headlining pay-per-view once more, man, you know, it's, uh, this is huge. Well, I'm so proud of you because I said that my man got back-to-back pay-per-views, which is well-deserved. You had a great fight against Tank. It didn't end in your favor, but still you were able to impress a lot of people and get yourself even more opportunities at the top. And I know that, you know, pretty much that was just a fight that you, that, pretty much you you had in place to where now we on pay-per-view and it was kind of uh, like a way for the world to get to know you but I feel like going into this fight this is an even bigger opportunity for you because now you're moving up in weight and you have a guy that pretty much is seen as the one of the more credible 147 guys over the last decade now if you're able to go in there and do you do you do your job and take care of your business that will be huge for the state of boxing. Do you feel the same exact way? Yeah, man, absolutely. You know, which is the, uh, which is the whole reason why you know overall, you know, why we chose you know such a such, such a difficult task. Um, you know, I've always said, man, I'm I'm not scared. You know, to get in there, you know, with with the with, with the top guys. You know, I want to fight the best. I want to bring you know the the big fights uh, to the you know the boxing world. And uh, the the world of sports in general, man, and this easily has you know potential to be you know one of the most exciting fights you know of the, of the year, and uh, it's uh, it's only February, right? And so you're going into this fight. Thurman's coming off a almost a three year layoff. He's been out the game for almost what now twenty months. So do you feel like with you being a little bit more active, being a little bit more younger, being longer as well too? Do you think that you have the advantages that it that it takes to go ahead and actually stop a Keith Thurman as well, too? Uh, you know, I definitely, you know, I have confidence in my in my abilities. You know, I believe that, um, you know, I can hurt Keith Thurman and, um, you know, uh, not going there expecting to stop it or expecting, you know, to knock him out. But uh, you know, I'm definitely going in there with uh, with bad intentions, and um, you know, I know I know Keith is coming, you know, with uh, with the same energy, you know, which is why again, man, this is going to be a, a very very exciting night. All right, so you and your twin sister, are we? It, when's she fighting again? And hopefully, can we have the twin champions uh, <laughs> within the next eighteen months? Have you guys talked about that ever? Yeah, yeah, you know, it, it has been something. Uh, uh, we're we're not actual twins, you know. She's she's actually she's she's my 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 big sister. She's two years older than me, right. but uh, you know, every, every everybody thinks we are twins, though. You know, I mean, we we got into the sport of boxing, you know, at, at the same time, uh, and we have always been there for each other, man. And we have a, a great relationship. But um, you know, right now she's uh she's been you know actually doing a lot more training, you know, training fighters back in San Antonio, um. Than um, than anything, so I mean, um, I'm not sure if she's gonna make you know her return to the ring, if uh, you know if she gets that that hunger again, you know that fire, then uh, you know of course she has you know all of our support, but um, you know I mean right now you know we're just going with uh with with, with whatever she wants and with uh whatever she's most comfortable with, but um, but yeah man, I mean you know the, that was always something that we had talked about you know us fighting on you know the 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 same cards and everything. Beautiful, beautiful. So you got to fight in uh, San Antonio. You had a great night in your hometown. How did it feel getting the key to the city, man? And you had that such a cool merchandise shirt with the uh, San Antonio Spurs old school logo as well, too. How, how was the feeling for that, man? It's been awesome, man. You know, um, over the years, you know, the city of San Antonio, uh, they have, you know, they have really uh, embraced me, you know, as someone, you know, who represents, uh, you know, our city, you know, very proudly. 
Um, and I've been, you know, introduced, you know, at, at uh, you know, by, by the mayor, you know, I've been, um, you know, um, recognized at, at, at halftime, you know, at, at the Spurs games. And, uh, you know, it, it's always, it's always mad love and anytime I'm, I'm back home, you know, so I'm, I'm always thankful, you know, for, for my people back in San Antonio, man, y'all have a special place in my heart. And, um, you know, I know come fight night, there's going to be plenty of, uh, of, of San Antonians back in, uh, over here in Vegas. All right, man. And you're, and you know, our mutual friend, oh, John Ricone. How you feel about John? Have you seen him in the gym lately or anything like that? I know he's fighting on your card and everything. I talked to him. Uh, how you feeling about John going into this fight? He's, he's had a long layoff as well. Do you think John's been training pretty good? He, I know that he's uh, managed by your father as well, too. So what, what are your thoughts on uh, his uh, preparation coming into this fight? Uh, you know, uh, speaking about my sister, you know, she's actually the one, the one who has been helping John get, get ready for this fight. Oh, okay. Um, you know, yeah. So I know, you know, my sister has been pushing him, you know, she's been making sure that he's sharp and, uh, you know, John, you know, he took some, some time off, man. Um, uh, you know, he, he lost his father, you know, rest, rest in peace to, um, to Pedro. And, um, but, you know, he found, he found that, that hunger again, he found that drive and, um, you know, I'm, I'm excited to have him, you know, on the, on the undercard. All right, so I know you can't say it, but I'm going to say it. I think that this fight actually doesn't even go eight rounds, and I'm putting I'm 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 putting something nice on you too, Mario. This isn't, <laughs> this isn't anything like that, but I just feel that you're the young wolf, and this is the old wolf, and you know. When you go to places like the booth and things like that too, and things you get a little comfortable, you know what I mean? You've made a lot of good money, everything, and you still have that hunger. And I think that we're gonna be able to see that exposed to a broader audience. And I think that it's gonna be a tremendous night for you as well to come uh, February 5th, but that's how I'm feeling. And so pretty much just know that, you know, it, it, I, I, I don't choose sides or anything like that. But when I'm when I'm looking at this one as a fan, I really do like what what's going what's what what possibly possibly can happen for you. You know, what mm -hmm. I mean, so, man, I think that you're, you're on to the right path. A lot of people have um, really do love your style of boxing, but you also have what we say, the look Hollywood stuff. And, uh, you know, even um, Heidi Andrew had even uh, told me about that, that you had pretty much all the, the the package, the total package. So how do you feel about that when people see that you are a guy that can do j things bigger than boxing? And we've seen this on your social as well, too. Uh man, it's 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 a good feeling, man. You know, but uh, first and foremost, man, you know, I'm a I'm I'm a fighter. You know, that's what that's what I do best. That's what uh that's the only focus that I have. You know, is just being, uh, being a great fighter. And um, I know, man. You know, uh, I appreciate you know that that love. You know, that support. And uh, you know, I'm coming with the, with a point to prove. Come February fifth, man. I've had a tremendous preparation for this fight. And, um, you know, I'm just excited, you know, for, for, for everybody to see what, what I could do come, um, come fight night. All right. Great stuff. Thank you so much for your time, Mario. I can't wait till February 5th. Uh, hopefully I'll see you early in the fight week as well too. Uh, to catch up with you and uh, Mario a little bit. So um, I thank you uh, so much and a uh, big shout out to my man, Mario Serrano for hooking up the uh, interview as well too. I was pressing him hard, but thank you very much. This is your boy, Pop DBIC, the primetime capper signing out for Fanatics View with the exclusive with El Aztecia, Mario Barrios and I am gone.